Hello people, in this video let us look at vitamin C. In a pediatrics topic we are looking at this for children. <clears throat> vitamin C is also called as ascorbic acid, the chemical name. Basically it is a water soluble vitamin, a micronutrient, what we need very less. And uh, we don't make this vitamin C, that's what you should understand, we don't make it in our body. So how do we get it guys? We get it mainly you know from orange, right? So let's uh, write here, citrus fruits. So citrus fruits like orange, lemon, right? All that will give you. They have shown here citrus fruits. Yes, orange, right? So they have shown you citrus fruit. What other sources are there? Look at this. <clears throat> Cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage. These are actually called as goitrogens, right? But anyways, they are giving vitamin C. Okay, so where is, um, where is cauliflower? Cauliflower, broccoli. Cabbage, okay, one more thing you have to add here, cabbage, okay, then that's it, okay, so this much you have to remember, this, this much if you remember, that's enough, for example, berries also, strawberry also, okay, strawberry, nice, <coughs> now, um, this is water soluble, right, so you can lose a lot while cooking, while even in your body, you will keep losing it, so uh, even from milk, you can get a little of vitamin C, looks like, from human milk, a lot, from cow's milk a little, right? That's what it looks like. Okay, fine. So now that you know the sources, do you know how much of vitamin C you need? We are talking about pediatrics topic here. So for infants, they need around, um, just remember around 50 milligram for everybody, okay? 50 milligram for children, you can say. For adult, you remember it as 75, okay? So how do you absorb vitamin C? Like we told you, we do not synthesize vitamin C. Say like you put a board outside. We do not make vitamin C. You put a board outside your uh, clothes. You can just put one board. We do not make vitamin C. Like how the shops put. This is actually structurally related to glucose. How do you absorb it? It is absorbed by sodium dependent process. Okay. It's uh, some sodium dependent process. So that's why what you do now, you take this lime juice nicely. It will have sodium also, right? Sodium chloride. Okay, so uh, it will uh, circulate in the blood in its free form. Okay, and um, it will also appear in urine because it's water soluble. Obviously. So you can see it in urine, you can see it in plasma. So you've understood how we absorb it. We do not make it. Now let's go to the functions. What do you think are the, fu uh, the functions are guys of vitamin C? What will it do? Vitamin C. It's going to help in a lot of things. Okay, electron transport. It's a reducing agent, strong reducing agent. So any, um, it's a, it's a reducing agent. Okay, let's remember it like this. It's a reducing agent. It's essential for WBCs, functioning of WBCs. It is uh, used for electron transport, fibroblasts, osteoblasts, microsomes. What is microsomes? A long time since we heard that name. Microsome, something to do with ribosome looks like. Okay, and then uh, it is also participating in the metabolism of carnitine, serotonin and folate. Can you even remember this for the exam? Ascorbic acids affect immune, detoxification, collagen synthesis and wound healing. Main thing here you came, wound healing. It will help in wound healing, right? That is why these people will have so much bleeding. Very important terminology. Look at this. Wound healing, it will help in wound healing. It is also used uh, helpful for absorption of iron. You remember in, uh, we have already studied all this in um, biochemistry. See here, it will, uh, see here, ascorbic acid here for uh, absorption, ferrous form. It, it needs acid, acid. So HCl which is there in your stomach, ascorbic acid, cysteine, all these will help in absorption of iron. Okay, from the lumen of the GIT. Okay. So summarize and tell the uh, uh, actions of vitamin C. Uh, let's try to write at least some few for the exam. Collagen, microsomes, something they said, leukocytes, then um, what else? Uh, wound healing, very good. What was the C? What was C? What did we write C as? Collagen, collagen synthesis. Some carnitine metabolism, electron transport is a reducing agent, immune. Okay, you have to write all these guys. Now let's move on. What will happen if you do not have vitamin C? Enough, enough, enough. So in infancy, what will happen? Let's see. Let's just remove this. Anorexia, diarrhea, pallor, irritability, increased susceptibility to infections. 
subperiosteal hemorrhage long bone tenderness see they said that it will help in immune because of all that um, uh, leukocytes and all that so you will get infection okay fine you will get subperiosteal uh, hemorrhage because of wound healing and bleeding tendency will be there right so they'll have hemorrhagic signs because they are always bleeding bleeding from gums conjunctiva intestinal tract they're always bleeding 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 then long bone tenderness what is it to do with bone why bone oh osteoblast fibroblast okay osteoblast fibroblast osteoblast fibroblast bone tenderness okay now we get it then this much is enough right so this type of bleeding and all you will see hemorrhagic signs mostly in a little older children all this in babies and all you will see anorexia diarrhea why diarrhea infection is it why anorexia they don't feel like eating let's just go back and see okay based on the absorption why there is so much problem for these people okay can't understand that but anyways so a lot of git issues infection subperiosteal hemorrhage long bone tenderness okay that's it so did you understand the def uh, vitamin c uh, deficiency if it is there as a doctor how will you identify all these uh, very vague kind of a things right except this hemorrhage everything else looks like infection and all you have to check vitamin c levels is it okay now come to diagnosis of scurvy so uh, basically you have to look for history if the person is eating well and uh, you can look at x-rays in x-rays you will see that there is thinning of cortex ground glass appearance and sharply outlined epiphyseal end there is some white line of metaphysis so here you can see there is called as white line of frenkel irregularly thickened line at the metaphysis representing calcified cartilage okay yeah we can see the white line look at this we'll make the white line here see here at the end of metaphysis you can you see this white line it will not be so white right remember see so all these are white line of frankel okay that is because of scurvy then there are some wimberger ring sign i just remember it as a ring sign because it's very confusing this is the epiphysis right around it that is white so what are the so white line of frankel and irregularly thickened line in at the metaphysis representing calcified cartilage white rings around the epiphyseal center of ossification did you understand people the diagnosis of scurvy i am thinking why didn't they just write a blood test here isn't it possible to know the levels in the blood looks like it is possible to check look at this there is a vitamin c blood test available quite expensive but the thing is um, this is better right then why wait for x-ray changes and all directly uh, we should uh, screen and we should treat right got the point guys there should be a screening or some test before it reaches this stage of x-ray and all okay so uh, that is about the diagnosis of scurvy guys because it's a water soluble vitamin looks like it is slightly hard to catch it or whatever now what is the therapy for scurvy what will you give these people just give them a, a 100 ml of orange juice every day or you can give them 100 mg of vitamin c orally okay 100 100 100 mg of orange juice or 100 mg of vitamin c that much you give them okay this is for children we're talking about children remember we're talking about children so we'll do one thing we will look at some old uh, uh, scurvy uh, slides that we have basically this uh, guy james lind okay james lind he was uh, in the ship right he a uh, naval surgeon he was and uh, whenever these uh, soldiers or the sailors were falling ill what he did he divided the sailors into some six groups and he started giving them them different things okay and only the group which received lemon and orange two orange and lemon they were receiving that group in uh, improved okay so only this group this uh, this one here which was getting the orange and the lemon that group recovered so that is why he decided that it is vitamin c deficiency that is causing a problem in the sailors okay that's it so that is the vitamin c story of scurvy okay that also you can write an exam for extra marks so this is all about vitamin c guys we have finished pediatric topic vitamin c scurvy okay bye bye people in the latest edition of uh, pediatrics textbook there are some more points about vitamin c deficiency so please look at it why we cannot make vitamin c is because we don't have this enzyme gul 
ओ नो लैक्टोन गुलोनो लैक्टोन रियली दिस इज द स्पेलिंग गुलोनो लैक्टोन वी डोंट हैव सो वी कैन नॉट मेक विटामिन सी ओके गुलोनो लैक्टोन वी डोंट हैव ऑक्सीडेज गुलोनो लैक्टोन ऑक्सीडेज वी डोंट हैव सो वी कैन नॉट मेक विटामिन सी ओके दिस इज वन पॉइंट स्पिनिच ऑल्सो हैज विटामिन सी कैंड फूड्स कैन स्टोर विटामिन सी बट कुकड फूड कैन नॉट स्टोर विटामिन सी इट विल लूज इट ओके सो कैंड फूड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम वी आर सींग समथिंग इज एक्चुअली गुड अबाउट इट सो पीपल हु आर यूजिंग बॉयल्ड मिल्क दे विल बी लूजिंग विटामिन सी इन फ्रॉम द मिल्क सो दैट्स वॉट इट लुक्स लाइक दैट्स काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेंज वी लाइक टू बॉयल मिल्क टू गेट रेड ऑफ ट्यूबर क्लासेज बैक्टीरिया बट देन हिस इज अ स्मॉल प्रॉब्लम दैट यू आर लूजिंग विटामिन सी नाउ देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एस सॉर स्कॉर्ब्यूटिक रोसरी ओके just like how in vitamin d deficiency you have here you have scorbutic rosary okay so this is the swelling at the uh, costochondral junction this is scorbutic rosary with depression of the sternum often present okay depression of the sternum so this is also present in these people so you have seen in vitamin d deficiency what is that rachitic rosary or something this is scorbutic rosary okay and these people bleed right so what will happen these people can have cerebral hemorrhage and hemopericardium that is around the heart also there will be blood so this this can become fatal okay so this uh, this uh, affecting the brain heart and all of obviously vital organs are affected right now let us go some more uh, clinical features this one this one this one they didn't tell you this one wait frog like posture frog like posture of this limbs because this joints and all are affected right because it will help in osteoid formation that's vitamin c bone osteoblast activity so there is semi flexion at hips and knees semi flexion at hips and knees okay so this will be a frog like position okay legs so this also you should know this will be there in vitamin c deficiency some extra points we are telling you guys so please uh, don't get angry now that we are adding it now in the uh, x ray they have added so many terminologies uh, in the new edition of uh, textbook this um, pelkins fracture they have added see this pelkins pelkins spur they are calling as the textbook uses the word pelkins spur so this is the lateral part of the rare faction appears as a triangular defect okay so it appears as a triangular defect that is called as pelkin spur then there is something called as trimmer feld zone near this white line of frankel they are telling there is a zone of rare frac rare faction proximal to this line which represents poorly formed trabeculae so proximal to this line which line white line of frankel proximal means proximal means which side because this is proximal right this is the baby's knee joint or something so this is proximal to this line there is a poorly formed trabeculae that is called as trimmer feld zone wow guys so you learned pelkin spur trimmer feld zone what else are the terminologies you learned frog like leg then cerebral hemorrhage uh, hemopericardium sor scorbutic rosary then uh, what else you learned that name of that enzyme what is that enzyme gulo no lactone gulo no lactone so many names you have learned now right that's it guys so we just added a lot of terms now hope you will pass if they ask vitamin c full out of out marks okay bye bye